A recently developed tool from Robert Sorby is the Sandmaster. This system provides a safe and effective method of finishing most items of lathe turned work. A 2 inch diameter sponge head is fitted with a velcro pad that is used in conjunction with cloth backed abrasive discs. This head is fitted into an adjustable knuckle joint. Phosphor bronze bushes allow this head to spin freely when placed against rotating work. By releasing the locking mechanism, the head is free to be rotated over a wide range of movement and can be locked into the most suitable position for use dependent upon the size and shape of the item being sanded. There are a range of different grit sizes available for use with this tool and it is supplied with aluminium oxide sanding discs in grits of 60, 120, 180, 240 and 400. As an optional extra, when working with larger projects, it is possible to remove the 2 inch diameter head and replace it with a larger 3 inch version. Although not a part of the basic system, the Sandmaster can be further developed by adding an optional pigtail mandrel and shaped goblet or bowl mops of varying sizes. This allows the tool to be used for burnishing oil or wax finishes onto work. Occasionally, it can be beneficial to lubricate the tool with a drop of lightweight oil onto the bushings. Take care to ensure that any excess oil is removed with a tissue or cloth prior to use. Sanding using the tool is carried out on the lower half of the workpiece so that the wood is turning away from you. As sanding is capable of producing fine wood dust, all sensible precautions should be taken to ensure personal safety. Here we are using both a powerful workshop extractor as well as a filtered dust mask. In use the tool is placed against the rotating work with the face of the head opened out slightly so that the wood contacts the lower portion of the disc. The abrasive and wood together provide the friction that drives the sanding head. This means that the head will rotate faster at the edge of a workpiece and more slowly towards the centre. Lathe speed is not critical and should always be appropriate to the size of the item being worked. In most cases a speed well below 1000 rpm will provide good results and will minimise heat build up. This is a particularly safe method of sanding as it removes the need to put fingers anywhere near rotating work. Changing the disc is done by holding the head securely and peeling the cloth backed disc from the velcro pad. It takes literally seconds to remove one disc and replace with the next finer grit. Normally all the discs would be used in sequence to produce a final finish. As the intermediate sanding with each grit is identical, we have moved on slightly and have just finished using the finest abrasive disc, 400 grit. A gallery quality finish is quickly and painlessly achieved. If considering oil or wax as a final finish for a piece, the Sandmaster system can be modified to produce a buffing tool. After applying the finish manually, by fitting a pigtail mandrel and bowl mop, the tool can now be used to burnish oil or wax into a finished piece of work. In the case of an oil finish, this produces a satin sheen. This second platter, also sanded and finished with a sandmaster, had a paste wax applied on top of several coats of oil and has buffed to a very high gloss.